expecting anything different from Michigan State this time around? What do you mean? As opposed to the game in East Lansing? Yeah, I think you have to win. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm done here. <laughs> what are the advantages or disadvantages of the, the second game in the rotation for either team? We're out of what? The so advantages or disadvantages to playing a team a second time. Because you know more oh. about them, but they know more about you as well. I mean, it's the big team, so we what? We, we eat in before. So uh, we 12 games in so far. So pretty much, you know, you play a team once, twice, three times. They know what you're doing um, up and down because you, you're so far into the season, so much um, technology out there, so much scouting out there. So, I mean, it really doesn't matter. But um, us playing them one time, it just gives an extra feel and an extra edge to, like, try to come back for redemption. What goes through your routine of a game you just want to flush and get out of your system? Oh, you got to have next play mentality, next game mentality. Um, you have to just fall back. I fall back on my um, techniques and I fall back on on what I do every day to help us get to that position. And I try like to backtrack and just look at, you know, what did I do and um, and how the team was playing, how to practice, you know, little things like that of being a leader. And then I'm um, just come back and got to work harder. Sometimes working hard isn't hard enough. So you got to take it up a notch. Um, got to get out your comfort zone and you got to just step coaching and just try to be better. What did you notice about the emotional response for the team as a whole after that loss? Oh, I mean, we know we're a great team. Um, we watch the film, the coaches, we have great coaching staff. They told us what we did wrong. Um, not just telling us, but by showing us so we can understand it, so we can correct it, rather than them just telling us what we did wrong and then the problem still isn't solved. So I think um, the coach did a great job of showing us and um, giving us a, a picture of what we did wrong and um, how we let that game get away. Um, we on to the next one. I mean, the thing about the Big Ten, you can't dwell you can't pout because now we got Michigan State here on Tuesday, so um, I mean tomorrow. So you can't think about Maryland or Iowa or even Michigan or the wins because the next game. Uh, they just have a certain kind of culture um, that you know their coaches they demand. Um, they play great team defense and um, they're just a veteran team. You know, successful veteran program. So much emotional buildup to Friday night's game. Is it hard to build up to that again? Um, Given you put Michigan State in, or is that more of a fan thing? Oh man, I look at each game, each Big Ten game. I look at it as we trying to, you know, be the best team we can be. So I mean, Friday, um, I'm pretty sure. I, I heard it was it was sold out. So I know the fans made it a big deal. But I mean, me personally. Or the team, we, re we really didn't look at it in that, in that aspect because we know that um, we got to come out here and play. So um, I, I would say no, like we just come here, Michigan State, we know they're a great team, you know, we know that we have to win. And uh, we'll come prepared, juiced up, ready to play. Last year, this game here was one of the marquee wins of the season. Core Storm and all that for Michigan State win. How far has this program gone from there to where you guys are right now? Uh, we came um, far. Came far. Uh, we're trying to go further though. Um, we know that to be a successful team and be one of the best teams in the country, I mean, you have to have games, you have to have wins like this. And what I mean by that, I mean off of a back to back loss, like how, how we respond. The great teams, man, those two in a row, three in a row, they respond um, well and they come out and play. So um, we're up for the talent to come out and respond well after hitting adversity. I know after that loss, at their players this year, you, you said something had to change. You wanted to keep it in the locker room, and you guys went out and Is there anything you can share with us now about what changed? What allowed you guys to go on? What kind of work you guys Oh, I mean, we just had a hard, hard conversation with the guys. Um, that's all I can say. We had a hard, hard conversation, and um, we knew that some things had to be changed. I feel like the, even with the losses between Iowa and Maryland, the stuff has been changed. Um, we just lost those games, from X's and O's, you know, bad plays, bad execution. But um, I feel like I feel like we're good. The locker room's good. We're all good. It's about just execute. Michigan State's had some success. Obviously, man to man. Given what zone has done, do you expect to see any zone tomorrow? I mean, I, I really expect it. They're going to play a lot of zone. 
But um, we've been working there a lot, so we do see it. We'll be prepared for it. What are just some of the keys to breaking through this Michigan State defense? That is one of the best in the conference. Got to move them. Got to move them. Got to get them shifted from side to side. Got to make Cassius guard. Got to make you know their bigs move and just move them. I mean, pretty much that's all we can do. And also not give them easy baskets in transition. Um, get back on defense. You know they, they like to get a lot of points in transition, pitch heads. So not give them easy baskets. They run good offense. On that. Is part of guarding cash is just keeping him in the half court, making sure he doesn't get out in transition where you can just really control the game at that point? I mean, just getting back as a whole. I wouldn't say just guarding cash, but the team just getting back as a whole because when he gets gets in the transition, he's looking to pro and looking to, to pitch first. So taking away his options, keeping bodies around him, not giving him easy looks. Midway through the first half, double digit lead here at home against Maryland. Did you learn something about securing that lead? No, I mean, we really not focused on Maryland. Uh, we handled that. We talked about that for the last two days. So um, I wouldn't like to keep speaking on them because we got a big game tomorrow. We just got to more about the psychology of having a big lead early. How do you, how do you maintain that? I mean, you got to just keep playing. You got to just make shots. I mean, it's their number eight team in the country. So, I mean, we knew they weren't going to just die down right away. So, it's all about making adjustments. They made an adjustment. They made their run. We threw a punch. They just threw another punch. And uh, we were able to sustain it. Michigan, Michigan State's lost three in a row. You guys the last two. You expect an extra hunger or different approach and mentality or anything like that? From which team? Both teams. Yeah, I mean, we, we they fighting for a lot. We fighting for a lot. That's about to be a uh, very intense game. I would tell you, doing some laptop work, is you sure what you were looking at? Is there something specific you, you were looking at over there? Uh, yeah, I was watching film. Um, watching film with the coaches on a lot of hard hedges. And um, just, you know, making the right reads and just looking at the times where I made the right reads and, and looking at the times where I didn't make the right reads. I don't know, that discussion after Players only meeting or were there coaches? That was a big Now it's players only meeting. Thanks, Al. Thanks, Al. Yeah.